the two accused in the January 19th, 2021 Manipur Raj Bhavan grenade attack case have been convicted by a special NIA court in Imphal. The quantum of sentence for the two convicts in the case would be announced by the special NIA court on July 16th. The two convicts are Lisham Ibosana, alias Michael from Khongam Lisham Likai and Konsa Manithoi from Larik Yengbam Likai. An FIR against the two was registered on March 5th, 2021 at the Imphal City Police Station. The Working Committee of the Naga National Political Group said that the Naga people have rejected the gun culture which led to open threats and embezzlement of public wealth through immoral means while brilliantly selling the idea of the Naga solution without bringing any practical solution to them. In a release, the committee said that the Naga people want an immediate political solution that fulfills Naga aspiration in Nagaland state for Nagas in Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh and Assam through practical structure and approach. It added it has negotiated with the government of India precisely as per the Naga people's desire and with the full backing and confidence of the Naga tribes and relevant apex civil society organizations. Meghalaya TMC leader and former Chief Minister Mukul Sangma has said that his party will scrap the border agreement between Meghalaya and Assam that was signed recently if voted to power next year. We stand committed to see that it is undone if we are voted to power, said Mukul Sangma. Whatever discussions have taken place between the two governments is not in sync with the expected line of agreement, he further added. The Manipur government has announced closure of all schools in the state, government and private till July 24th. This announcement was made by the Manipur government on Tuesday after the COVID positivity rate in the state breached the 15% mark. Notably, there has been a steady rise in COVID positive cases in Manipur over the last one week. Whereas there has been a recent increase in the absolute number of COVID-19 positive cases and the test positivity ratio is over 15% in the state. Naga People's Front Legislature Party leader and co-chairman of the ruling United Democratic Alliance, Kuzholuzu Ninu, on Tuesday asserted that the election to the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly, which is due early next year, will take place with or without a solution to the Naga political issue. If the solution comes early, then the election may get delayed, but if the solution does not arrive, then it will be held at the usual time. The NPF leader said at the 17th Chizami Assembly Constituency Office Bearers Consultative Meeting. Nainu said that the Nagas cannot go on without arriving at a solution to the vexed Naga political issue. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.